Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond Your Knowledge. So today we're going to be uh, reviewing um, how does Force Connect works. Okay. So before we continue, let's just uh, read, read here Romans ten twelve and says that the same Lord over overall is rich unto all that call upon Him. Amen. Well, now. Foscanet. What we can say about Foscanet? Well, first, Foscanet, it is a paraphosphate analog, okay? So it is a paraphosphate, but you're saying, okay, but it is, a, uh, it is an antibacterial, antiviral, what it is, or antifungal, well, I will let you know now. So Foscanet, it is an antiviral drug. Okay, now Foscanet, which is an paraphosphate analog, does not does not this one does not require intracellular activation. So no no requirement of intracellular blah, blah, yeah. of intra what intracellular <coughs> so excuse me solar activation now like others antiviral now when do we use foscanet well so for example in patient that has hiv okay so if patient has uh, hiv so has an infection of CMV and so CMV and CMV can cause colitis which is implants of the colon and this this colitis is going to have intracellular and I mean intracellular no, no, no intracellular so intranuclear okay so it just <laughs> It's just because we mentioned intracellular here, I think that gets stuck in my mind. Yeah, but it is intranuclear, and so it's going to have, I mean, yeah, it's going to have, colitis has an intranuclear and intracytoplasma inclusion now, so yeah. Let me just fix it here. here. So I have two intras, so intranuclear, and intracytoplasmic. Inclusions, okay. So this is um, this is uh, um, colitis. Now, but in some patients, ganciclovir can be resistant or have a refractory thrombocytopenia. And now, if the patient has an resistant, um, of what Asia, um, uh, uh, if the patient has an uh, resistant of ganciclovir so we can give foscanet okay or if the patient has a refractory thrombocytopenia we can give foscanet now another point here it is so let me just write here so basically use when ganciclovir is resistant it is important that we keep this in mind or when the patient has a refractory thrombocytopenia, or when refractory thrombocytopenia, okay. Now, move on. And what another thing we can talk about ganciclovir? So, gan I mean, sorry, about foscanet. <laughs> So Foscanet is going to directly inhibit. So that means that it is an inhibitor. So an inhibitor of two things, okay? Inhibitor. So what are the, the, the things that the, 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 the uh, Foscanet can inhibit? So it's an inhibitor of, so we're going to mention here, DNA polymerase, okay? So, so basically, Yeah, yeah, so, 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 just a second. 
so yeah inhibit two enzymes and one of those is called DNA polymerase okay and then remember that each time that you see poly A so that mean that is an enzyme but pr probably you're going to see some um, names that does that has this and doesn't have an enzyme but those are a few exceptions but usually so each time that you see A's it is an enzyme also it's going to inhibit your reverse transcriptase okay now why did it so important to know because if we if we have a patient for example with um, HIV so what is the enzyme that is going to be inhibit when we go to the patient Foscarnet so do you think it's going to be DNA polymerase or do you think it's going to be reverse transcriptase so if we're talking about HIV so it's going to inhibit river transcriptase in HIV patients, okay? Remember that this uh, HIV is a retrovirus, okay? Now, what about DNA polymerase? Well, DNA polymerase, it is found in herpes virus. So for this reason, it, that, that, that um, Foscanet is held for herpes infection, okay? Um, and if you remember, so that we were mentioning here that if for example if the patient has an HIV can develop CMB and CMB is one of those um, herpes family so for this reason it is good the Foscanet also this patient has uh, HIV so when we use this drug so basically it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a double gun basically now um, now how we're going to administer Foscanet? so Foscanet should be administered IV so and yeah so intravenous okay now well that should be probably painful or not painful any 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 injection is painful okay this is an extra comment sorry now let's just continue here um also in addition to treat the 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 the, the this for can in addition to treat the ganciclovir resistant CMB infection that we mentioned um, before, so foscarnet also is we can use this in patients who have an aciclovir resistant herpes virus. So and I think that could be a good idea. So if we if we remember that, so. So that's mean that in in in, in ganciclovir is resistance also also in patients that are resistant to which drug and I mentioned aciclovir okay aciclovir uh, aciclovir resistant herpes virus okay now um. So that was uh, Foscanet, but I think that that would be good uh, an extra comment here about um, about ganciclovir. Okay, I'm going to write it uh, here in this corner. Okay, so that we can uh, remember. So let's just divide this in black here. Okay. So this is an extra comment of about ganciclovir, but it is important. So ganciclovir because we were talking about um, before uh, Foscanet, but let's just mention this about ganciclovir, which is ganciclovir is an uh, it is a guanine analog. I mean, it's a it's a guanine nucleoside analog. Okay. So G for ganciclovir, G for guanine. Okay, nucleoside analog. Now. Um, in this is it this ganciclovir, which is a guanine nucleoside analog structurally, so that means that the structure, but analog to what? So to aciclovir, okay. Okay, so and this is important to to keep in mind. Now, when this one, when do we use this one? So ganciclovir we use often with C and B, okay. But if you cannot use ganciclovir, so we use Foscanet, okay. 
Now, do you remember that those two that are Ganciglovir and uh, Ganciglovir and Aciclovir, those are resident, we use Fosconet, and if you see Ganciclovir and Aciclovir, so they are guanine nucleoside analogs and they are similarly, uh, they have, they are similar in the structure each other, okay, or, or Ganciglovir to Aciclovir, okay, now, um, so it is important that we remember that or that or we can learn now that this ganciclovir also require so an intracellular active I mean conversion okay so and this uh, intracellular conversion by who by a virally so that means that it's a bar, 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 um, uh, encoded kinase okay so that means that you need an enzyme so to to do that that conversion okay so encoded kinase now and yeah so and then by by uh, Solar kinases, okay, so it is okay. While the this is this is all this about ganciclovir, so but Foscarnet has this this advantage. I mean this 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 good. So because the as we saw here Foscarnet before, so does not require so intracellular activation, but ganciclovir yes need an intracellular conversion by encoded kinases and yeah the basically is that okay so when we start the lesson basically we put a name how does foscarnet works but i think that we can say foscarnet versus versus which one is the other one ganciclovir and then we see we can see that ganciclovir has similitude to Aciclovir structurally, okay. So, but yeah, basically, is that I think so that we we get a good knowledge, we got help, and so just just keep in mind that this take time to learn, but we can do all things through Christ within us. And thank you for watching, and God bless you.